Hi, I'm Susan Belsinger, and you're in my kitchen where I've spread a number of the vinegars that I have on hand out on my kitchen counter. So today we're going to make an herbal vinegar, and I want to show you how easy it is, but first I wanted to talk to you a little bit about vinegars. The best vinegars for making herbal vinegar are apple cider vinegar, and you want to get the, the unpasteurized kind, organic is the best, and white wine vinegars and then rice wine vinegar. The other vinegars you could use are the Asian vinegars like the ume and the brown rice vinegar or red wine vinegar or balsamic. These are all wonderful vinegars but they don't allow the flavor of the herbs to shine through nor the color. So you're best off with the apple cider vinegar, white wine vinegar or rice wine vinegar for making herbal vinegars. As you see, I don't have any distilled vinegar here on the counter, and the reason for that is you shouldn't be eating distilled vinegar. Uh, distilled vinegar is mineral deficient. It's made from uh, an oxidation process of fossil fuels or uh, the wood pulp industry, and so you don't want to ingest that into your body. Also, if you use that kind of vinegar, it pulls the nutrients and minerals uh, and calcium from your bones and tissues. So it's per perfectly fine to buy that vinegar, but use it to clean house for housework, not for uh, making your herbal vinegars. Okay, so here on the board I have a few vinegars that I've made. This right here is a white wine vinegar that I've infused tarragon in, and then this is an herb de Provence vinegar. These still have the herbs in it, and this is Batale peppers in uh, in uh, apple cider vinegar. And so these are all still infusing the, uh, the herbs or the chili peppers in the vinegar. Whereas these vinegars I made, <coughs> excuse me, and strained off. This is a raspberry vinegar with vanilla bean and I uh, strained off the raspberries. This is a basil vinegar and this is an opal basil vinegar. So I've strained out the um, the herbs that have, uh, after I got all the essence out of them, and these are ready to give as gifts or use in the kitchen. All right, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own herbal vinegar, and the reason I chose to do that is because it's uh, July, the beginning of July, and my herbs are coming in. As you can see, my basil is abundant. These I'm taking all my first cuttings, and this is a great way to capture herbal essence. So there's uh, really just one or two ways to do this, and today I'm using white wine vinegar. And uh, one thing that you can do is you can just open up your uh, white wine vinegar bottle, and then uh, what you want to do is you want to pull the orifice out, and uh, you'll need to pour a little bit of this out because you're going to be putting herbs in, which are going to make the bottle fuller. And this is how simple it is. This is fresh tarragon. Uh, Tarragon is Artemisia dracunculus sativa, and this year Artemisia is Herb of the Year 2014. So I'm just going to uh, stuff these down into the bottle. Uh, you can use a chopstick if you need to uh, get it below the line or if your finger doesn't work. And then I'm going to put my orifice back in so I have it when I need it later. And I'm going to shake this up. And I'm going to be sure and label this and put the date on it. It's that easy. So uh, I'm going to also show you if you have a lot of herb that you can go ahead and uh, do this white wine. I think I'll use this one because it's already open. And uh, this is savory. Whereas this uh, tarragon has a licorice anise flavor and is great in salad dressings, savory, and this is summer savory, is peppery and hot. And so I've washed this and harvested it, and I'm going to jam that down into this quart mason jar. Um, this is really wonderful on green beans with beans of any kind or your three bean salad. And just for the heck of it, uh, nasturtiums are one of my favorite spicy edible flowers, so I'm going to add that in there for color. And then I fill the bottle uh, up, I fill the jar up with the white wine vinegar, be sure the herb is covered. All right, and if you don't have enough, then you can use another kind. Okay, so we'll fill this up. While I'm filling this up, I'll tell you what I'm going to do with this. 
I'm going to sit it in a cool shady place. When I first started making herbal vinegars, I heard that you could put them out in the garden. Just let them sit in the herb garden and let the sun do its work. And for years I did that, but what happens when the sun shines on an herb in an infusion like this, uh, it breaks the herb down more quickly, okay? So I have found, I've made vinegars and put one in the sun and one in my pantry in the dark, and the one in the pantry had much better flavor. It wasn't as, um, let's say, sharp and acidic, and the herb flavor came through a lot better. I think they uh, tend to get muddy when they're really out in the summer sun heat. All right, we're almost done here. So I'm going to label this, and I do want to show you, um, as you can see, most of my uh, homemade herb vinegars have white plastic caps. And this is a cap. It's called a tattler cap. It comes in two pieces. It's plastic with a rubber ring. You can use this for canning or processing. And the reason I'm using the plastic cap is because vinegar is so acidic that it will eventually break down the metal in a uh, canning jar cap. So uh, you can try these. This is the ball jar. It's right in with the canning goods or the tattler you can order online. So it's that easy to make an herbal vinegar and gather the essence. And one thing I do want to talk to you about, and I'll do that in the next video, is you make an herbal vinegar just like this, and then we turn it into a shrub. So I'll be talking to you about shrubs in the next one. Meanwhile, go out and cut your herbs and make some herbal vinegars.